Rizzo and fight for GTC. Please like, comment down, subscribe after watching. <laughs> there are four sentences in week two English. Oh, can you tell me what are the four sentences? The first one is declarative. The second one is imperative. Third, interrogative. Fourth, exclam exclamation. Exclamatory. Exclamatory sentence. The first one is declarative. Second, imperative. Third, interrogative. And the fourth one is exclamatory sentence. So, what is the punctuation mark of declarative sentence? The declarative sentence it's ends with period. Period. How about for the imperative? Period. How about for the interrogative? Question mark. Question mark. How about for the exclamatory sentence? Exclamation point. Which one states about facts? Declarative. Which one asks about something? Interrogative. Which one requ gives request or command? Inter imperative. Imperative. It gives strong emotion. Ex exclamatory. Exclamatory sentence. So... To sum up, there are four types of sentences, declarative, imperative, interrogative, and exclamatory sentence. So, are we clear with that? Let's proceed to week three. Okay. Ah, for example, I say something, um, whose umbrella is this? That's interrogative. Oh no, this really hurts. That's ex exclamatory. Exclamatory sentence, good. How about, um, baby Grace, beautiful? That is declarative. Declarative, good. How about if I say, go get some water? Imperative. Very good. So, do you know how to identify the types of sentences? Let's proceed to week three. Okay, good. Prepare. What are the two kinds of nouns? Common noun and proper noun. Okay. Common nouns and proper noun. Which one is, uh, it states about the general name of a person, place, thing, animal, or event? That is common noun. Common noun. Very good. It starts with what letter? Small. Uh, how about for the proper noun? For the proper noun, it starts with the big letter. Okay. Proper nouns also has a specific name of a person, okay? Place, animals, event, ganun. So, parang kabaliktaran lang siya ng common noun. So, to sum up, common noun has, it is a general name, okay? General, pangkalahatan, overall. General name of a person, place, a thing, ganun. Ang proper noun, it is specific. Ano na siya? Direct to the point na siya. For example, um, baby, that is general name. For example, baby gray, that is proper noun. Proper noun na siya because it has there name already. Name. already. Okay, uh, let's test. Tell me if it's common noun or proper noun. For example, I say Manila. That is proper noun. Proper noun, that is city. Kalaakan city. Proper noun. How about for the park? Common noun. Common noun. Kasi wala siyang nakalagay na specific name of the park. Cecilia Apostol Elementary School. That is proper noun. Dog. Common noun. Beach. Common noun. What? Um, Lenovo Laptop. Proper noun. Proper noun. Result Park. So we have name here. Result Park. Proper noun. Very good. Father? That is common noun. Teacher. Common noun. Richard Garcia. Proper noun. But for month. Proper noun. Month. Common noun. Common noun. There's no specific name of month. How about for Monday? Monday is proper noun. June. Proper noun. So, all 
month na January, February, it starts with Pro proper noun. Big letter. Big letter kasi proper noun. Pati yung day, okay? Christmas day. Christmas day is proper noun. Proper noun. Ano ba mga New Year? Specific na kasi yung celebration. So that's... It is event. Oh, uh, yeah. Specific event. Name of event na siya. So it's uh, proper, proper noun. noun. So that's with a capital letter. Um, what else? Um, halimbawa, pencil. That is, that is common noun. Common noun. Because if there's I, no name. Oh, for example, my name siya Mongol. Magiging? Proper noun. Proper noun. So, we're done with week four. Okay. Next, let's proceed. The week five. So, let's talk about diary. Parts of the diary. So, tell me the four parts of the diary entry. The date, greetings, body of the diary, and the signature. Okay, the name or the signature of the writer, okay? So, sabi, uh, we use personal pronoun. What are the two personal pronouns used in telling what you did? And in describing how you feel on that day. So, what are the two personal pronouns? I and we. Yeah, and very good. So, that date should be written where? On the upper right corner or on the lower right corner? Upper right corner. Okay, very good. So, when writing the body uh, diary entry, so let's proceed to the ano, uh, body of the diary entry now, okay? So, how do we write the first sentence of the paragraph? It should be what? Indented. It should be indented. Very good. So, when writing a diary entry, the first sentence of the paragraph should be indented. Okay? Always remember that. Parang ano siya, yung sanay say, di ba? When you're writing in Filipino. It should be inside. Oh, inside. <laughs> oh, oh. Papasok siya, papasok. So, it should be indented. So, in writing the body of the paragraph, also, what should we, what tense do we use? Ate, what tense are we using? Uh, what tense do we use? Is it past tense or present tense of the verb? Past tense. Past tense, for example. Uh, I ate. I ate. Oh, okay, I ate. Um, go. Ano ba gagamitin pag go? Mababa, I go to the market. So, when you're writing the diary, it should be went na. So, I went. Kasi, past tense na siya. So, for I example, took oh, oh, you took a bath. For example, pumunta ka. Mababa, how do you make a diary, for example? O, mababa, you went, pumunta ka sa, sa, sa Super 8, bumili ng snack, then nag-eat, Oh, how do you write? And then, you describe. I went to Super 8. Oh, you went to Super 8. And then? We, I bought snacks. Oh, I bought snacks. Kasi tapos na. Eh, buy, di ba? So, you bought. Very good. Tapos, kumain kayo. How do you write that? We ate. We ate. Snacks. We, we ate your snacks with our family. And then, um, how do you feel? Happy. Oh, it should be, I felt. I because felt it's happy. Done. Okay, I felt happy. So, madali lang siya. Yung diary, madali lang intindihin. First, you have to remember the four parts. It's the date on the upper right corner. The greetings. The greetings, the body of the diary. And the signature. The signature or the writer, the name. Dapat indented yung first a sentence of the paragraph. So, yun lang yung mga dapat tandaan. So, let's try um, let's try your understanding about the diary entry. So, let, tell me if it's true or false. The diary has four parts. True. True. What are those nga? The four parts of the diary is date, greetings, body of the diary, and the name of the writer. Okay. So, let me just correct you. The four parts of the diary are... Are, kasi madami na siya. The four parts of the diary are... You use is, okay? That's wrong. 
the four parts, okay. Come again. The four parts of the diary are? Date, greetings, body of the diary, and the name of the writer. Very good. Okay. To begin writing of your diary, you have to write down your name on the upper right corner. Is it true or false? False. False. What should be written on the upper right corner? Down. What should be written on the upper right corner? Sa taas, what should date. be written? The date. Because the name should be written where? The down. The down. <laughs> down. Down. Okay, and the lower part. Okay, next. In writing a diary, you don't have to provide the important information or the event that happened on that day. Is it true or false? You don't have to provide the important details. False. False. Because you need to write the important details, okay, on the event. So, next. The diary is like your friend. True. True, because the diary is like a friend which keeps a record on your memory. And then what happened on that day while you write, while you write that event, okay? So, kaya nga, when you're writing to your friend, you say, Dear Ate Donna, Dear Ate Pfeiffer, okay? So, since your diary is like your friend, say, Dear Diary also. Mm -hmm. So next, in writing a diary entry, you must provide the event, how you feel about them, and you must explain why. Is it true or false? True. True. Because you cannot just say, hi, uh, hi dear diary, I'm happy today. Okay? The information is lacking. So, you have to explain why. Why are you happy? Like, why are you sad? Yeah, why are you sad? So, explain, why are you sad? So, you say, oh, Ano ba sasabihin mo when you say, Hi, dear, uh, dear diary, I'm sad today because... So, you say, because... Because... Why are you happy? Because my family... Because my family... Because we go to the supermarket and bought snacks. Mm, that's one. That's okay. So, you just, uh, as long as you explain why you're feeling that uh, emotion, okay? For example, you're sad. I'm sad. Dear diary, I'm sad today because I forgot to, to make my assignment. Mm. So, I failed. So, I failed. I did not study. Uh, dear diary, I'm sad today because I failed my test. test. Mm. Dear diary, I'm happy today because I passed my examinations. I'm happy because we went to uh, the mall with my family. We eat to get we ate together. So you have to explain why, why. So every emotions or every feelings, there should be an explanation. So that's all for the diary. You have to remember the four parts of the diary. Okay, where is it located? The date. Where should it be? Upper right corner. Um, how about the greetings? The left. Left. What should we do in writing the first uh, paragraph. paragraph sentence? Indented. Indented. Uh, what pronoun again we use? Personal pronoun? I and we. I and we. And what is written on the lower right corner? It should be the name. The name. The, the name of the writer. Yay! Very good. You remember. Next. English week 8. So, brief introduction. So, these are the words that name people, places, events, animals, or things. What's this? Nouns. Nouns. So, your topic for week 8 is plural noun. Noun. So, we use plural form of regular nouns by adding S or ES. So, to... Make a singular noun to plural, we just have to add S daw or ES. For example, pineapple. Pineapples. Oh, diba? Parang ganun lang. So, the plural of the noun is usually formed by adding an S at the end of the word. So, usually ganun. Pero meron ding ES. So, the plural form of bag is? Bags. Tower. 
towers. Pen. Pens. Quiz. Quizzes. So what do you add? Z E S. Okay, kasi may rule ito. Glass. Glasses. Wall. Walls. Grass. Grasses. Um, sabi, when you refer to more than one noun, you use the plural form of that noun. Pero may rule ito. Sabi, if the word ends with S, X, Z, Z, C, H, S, H, you have to add E, S. Sige, palakihin mo yung ilong mo. So, you must add, uh, ano sabi? This, this is because when you add an S to the end of these words, you must add an extra syllable to the word in order to pronounce it. For example, yung lose. Loses. What did you add? ES. ES. Fox. Foxes. Branch. Branches. Lunch. Lunches. Brush. Brushes. Okay, let's take some of the examples so that you'll be familiarized. Uh, church. Churches. Father. Fathers. Dress. Dresses. Mailbox. Mailboxes. Beach. Beaches. Bench. Benches. Lunch. Lunches. Pan. Pants. Eyeglass. Eyeglasses. Wish. Wishes. Crayon. Crayons. Milkshake. Milkshakes. Flower. Flowers. Branch. Branches. Pot. Pots. Grass. Grasses. Plates. Plates. Book. Books. Window. Windows. Doll. Dolls. Monkey. Monkeys. Apple. Apples. Box. Boxes. Year. Years. Dish. Dishes. Key. Keys. Watch. Watches. Cow. Cows. Teacher. Teachers. Um, chicken. Chickens. Cat. Cats. Newspaper. Newspapers. I. Eyes. Family. Families. Ay, may ano na to. I change Y to I na to. So, it's not part. Hindi ko na, ano. So, place. Places. Um, knee. Knees. Note. Notes. Table. Tables. Mm, ano pa? Chair. Chairs. So, madali lang ang regular noun, di ba? You, ju you just have to add S or ES. You have to see to it kung you have to add, alabawa, yung ano, yung rule. You, have, you always have to remember that if you, you need to add ES lang or ES. Okay? Ano pa ba? So, that's it. We're done with English. Thank you so much. Good luck to your exam. Hopefully, these informations or this um, lessons will remain on your mind. So, good luck. Pray for the wisdom tomorrow. Okay? Good luck.